Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome to another video from the S Cinetone series for the A7S 3 Today we're looking at the different exposures and how best to expose S Cinetone Picture Profile 11. So sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> That's right everybody, today we're going to be looking at how to expose S-Cinetone the best. We're going to put some zebras on my ugly face, we're going to put some zebras on these curtains in the background and the screen and we're going to see which one we like best. So sit back, relax, we're going to go through the video now, through the different exposures which I'll go through. Put down in the comments below which one you think is your favourite. We are currently filming the whole video in Essentone Picture Profile 11 as is without any changes and I'll have a look at the video and come back to you at the end to tell you which is my preferred exposure. Now we are filming this at 25 frames per second with a shutter speed 1 over 50 and an aperture of 1.8. The only thing that's going to change is the zebra levels which I'll mention and the ISO to get the right exposure that we need either for my face or for the background. Okay so here we have set zebras at 70 and we have exposed just so there's a slight zebra here on the top of my forehead and this is zebras on the face at 70%. And now we have exposed the face to zebras of 80. So just small little zebras currently on my cheek here. Zebras set on the face at 80. So now we have bumped up the zebras to 85 on my face. And again, just over here, I'm seeing slight little zebras on 85. And in order to do so, we have bumped up the ISO now to 200. Zebras are now set to 90 and again a couple of zebras here on my cheek again we've had to boost the ISO to 250 the camera is showing now an exposure compensation of plus one now we have zebras on the face set to 95 in camera again small zebras here on my cheek coming from the little side light over here and we've raised the ISO to 320 now we've set the camera to zebras 100 on the face. Again, on the cheek here, a couple of zebras. The screen is completely blown out at the moment. We've boosted the ISO to 400 and the exposure compensation in camera is showing me plus 1.7. Now we are filming at ISO 1000, exposure zebras set to 100, 100 and I'm checking the background so all these curtains you can see this wall, my hands and my face and the screen is blown out. Exposure compensation is over 2.0 in camera. Now we have set zebras to 90 again to get the curtains and the screen over the zebras exposure compensation is still showing me plus two this time not blinking at iso 500 we are now on zebras 80 going down back down the scale again for the screen and for the curtains to have zebras we are now at iso 320 and the exposure compensation is showing me 1.7 and now gone down to 1.3 in camera now we've gone to zebra 70 with again the curtains and the screen being blown out with the zebras and of course my face and my hands are blown out with the zebras. We are at ISO now 250. All this is filmed in f1.8 and the exposure compensation we are seeing is 1.3 in camera and we're using multi-metering mode. So there you have it, those are the different exposure levels with the zebras from set from anything from 70 to 100. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it's given you some insight of how best to expose S-Cinetone. 
for me, my favorite were ranges 70 to 80. But again, it's a personal preference. It's your own choice. It's an artistic choice of how you want to convey the scene. Different scenes with different backgrounds, different skin tones will let you choose something different which you think is suitable for your own style. For me, I'm going to be using 70 to 80. Right now, I'm using Zebra 70 on my face and I really enjoy this look. Now looking closer, S in a tone, you know what? You don't need to hardly grade anything. All the footage you have seen here is ungraded, unsharpened, or well, not unsharpened, but no added sharpening in post, no color correction, no color grading. The skin colors and the colors that look absolutely fantastic out of camera. So thank you, Sony, for adding S in a tone to the A7S III. Now, don't forget to leave down in the comments which one is your favorite exposure. Like I said, mine is 70 to 80. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe somewhere down below, and stay tuned to the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.